Yeah, hi Morgan. Um, since you're running for Senate, I'd like to bring to your attention the top congressional issue for Americans living abroad, which is voting and taxes. So most people in the US don't realize that taxes are a barrier to voting for Americans abroad. Most abroad are working in middle class and the tax code as it currently stands is too complicated for Americans abroad to comply with due to Congress's outdated stereotype that we're all rich and leave the country to evade taxes. When actually most of us are low and middle income who moved abroad for work or love. Democrats Abroad does a lot of work to educate everyday Americans abroad that voting is a federal right, and regardless of their tax status, they have a right to vote. This is why Americans who are truly resident abroad, uh, Democrats Abroad supports elimination of double filing and double taxation on non-U.S. sourced income, and the exemption of Americans abroad and non-U.S. banks from having to report accounts to the U.S. Will you support this relief for Americans abroad? Yeah, thank you for the question. I, I, I do support that. I think you're absolutely right. There is this uh, perception that it's only rich folks who are, are able to move abroad and are doing that. And it is a lot to evade some of the obligations um, of our tax code. And so, yeah, I support really re re reviewing the tax code holistically uh, to make sure that it is implemented in a way that is equitable and not um, overly burdensome to working people while providing loopholes for large multinationals and folks who are earning more money. And so this certainly fits within um, that. We're just working people and, and that doesn't go. Oh, yes, absolutely can support that. Yeah, it, it sounds like something I would support. I'd have to look into the details of it, but it, it absolutely, uh, my staff mentioned it uh, to me before I got on this call. I'd like to look at it closer, but you know, anytime we're cutting taxes for working people, I'm all in on that. So it sounds like it would be something I would support, but I just don't want to give you 100% commitment without actually looking at it myself and being able to do a little research. But yeah, it doesn't sound fair. And anytime I feel like working class people are, taking it on the chin, we're going to be there to fight for you. Well, we're certainly happy to discuss these issues with you. Uh, and and want, we want to be a resource for you as well. So um, I'll, I'll be very happy to follow up with them, with your staff to, uh, to inform them more about the issue. So I want to say that Rebecca and I had an extremely engaging conversation. Um, so let me explain how I, I govern as, as an elected as a, as a president of a, of a information technology company. Rebecca provided us with the back sheet regarding the issues that impact Democrats abroad. I typically in, enjoy doing the research that comes with um, issues that I'm not aware of. And we spent probably a half hour to 40 minutes on the phone kind of diving into what the real issues are because I wasn't familiar that Democrats abroad had issues. Um, and that's the wonderful thing about running for office because you learn so much about uh, so many different things. Uh, so first, let me thank Rebecca for taking the time. Uh, Rebecca, I thank you for your advocacy on behalf of Democrats abroad and for taking the time to educate your electeds and your future electeds on the issues that impact all Ohioans, whether they're in the United States or outside. Uh, Rebecca shared with me that there is a lot of time uh, that's taken to complete these applications. And I, I did a little research, 11 hours is ridiculous. Um, the double taxing, the compliance, the cost and the fear. I had no idea that all of this um, was, you know, all of this was an issue and that these are the things that you were dealing with. Um, and I looked to see what exactly um, had already been implemented in regards to these issues. And I found, and, and again, uh, Rebecca, thank you for uh, providing me with um, information regarding the tax filing simpl simplification um, act. Uh, but I also found that Congressman Brad Sherman did a companion bill uh, that was similar, um, and it was interesting because uh, Tim signed off on, uh, uh, Congressman Ryan had signed off on that bill, um, which basically uh, supports 
resolving this serious issue regarding some of the tax codes, uh, the, the complications with the tax codes. Um, once elected as your United States Senator, I will fight for Ohioans in the United States and outside the United States. Any issues or problems that you're having that impedes um, you doing your job, getting the benefits that you deserve, um, having, having the issue of being double taxed and having fear of voting, these issues need to be resolved. These issues need to be brought to light and more people need to be on board regarding the resolution. So I can't totally commit to creating, I know Rebecca, your request was to introduce legislation. I don't like to make promises I can't keep. But what I can promise you is that with the help of Rebecca and Democrats uh, from abroad, I will work with you to make sure your issues are brought to light and through that light, we can create what we need to make your life easier. That is what I know I can do. And that's the commitment that I can give. Of course, I want to wave my, my fairy dust on it and make it all go away. But realistically, I wanna work with you to make sure we get the job done right. I need time to understand the tax codes. Uh, Senator Sherman, Congressman Sherman is a CPA uh, I'm an IT girl, and so I need time to kind of dig down into these tax codes and find out what we can do to tweak what we need, to change what we need, to reform what we, we need to do to make life easier and better for you abroad. That's my commitment. <laughs>